like yeah. aggressive when you like when you like a guy? I, you gonna, I used him? to be I I used to be scared of niggas. Like I didn't know how to talk to niggas back then. Yeah, me either. Every nigga I used to talk to back then, I just used we used to be friends because like I'm just one of them type people you be friends with. Yeah. And so shit. Are you like shy? Yeah, I'm real shy. Yeah. And so like when I be talking to niggas, they be think we friends and shit. And then they be liking me anyway, so I don't gotta do no work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, only thing I gotta do is get friends with them and then like niggas start liking me. I guess I don't know why they start liking me. What's not to like, Lord? Don't piss me off. <laughs> Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. B- bottoms up, bitch. Woo-hoo. Hey, guys. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Bottoms Up with your favorite. She's sexy. She's black. She is me. It's Fanita. And y'all will never... I've, I've been feeding y'all good. Y'all been starving in my DMs. I've been feeding y'all good. I have Memphis finest, the baddest. Me and her both love tomorrow. It's Glorilla. Hey. Bow, 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 bow. Make some motherfucking noise. <laughs> Glow. How this, are you doing? This your little intro thing? Yeah. Okay. okay. Ain't that or what? Okay. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real professional. I got really get to it. Okay. You look gorgeous today. <laughs> Thank you. You look gorgeous. That voice gonna have me. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Too, <laughs> what are you wearing? Who are you wearing today? What's the outfit? Give me a fit check. She, what's the name? Oh, Mew Mew. Okay. She, I forgot the name of the pants. These are my favorite pants, though. I got, like, fire. I got a few of these. I can't remember the name of it, though. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I went Balenciaga on them people. Oh, uh, how much were these? Shit. Can I have them? <laughs> <laughs> these motherfuckers had them. Shit, I don't know. Which we are, six? Uh, 37. I got these a while back, so I don't remember how much. What is, it, is that a UK size? What is 37? What is that? What is that a US size? Uh, shit. A seven? <laughs> oh, okay. You got small, but you look petite, young Well, thing. I wear five and a half in kids. Like, I really don't know what size oh, I wear. one of them girls. Like, I'm so small. And like, no, 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 no. You can put me in your pocket. Like, my feet. I can literally wear, like, kids clothes and, like, I can't room. wear kids clothes. Read, I'm too thick for that. Glow. I'm a big body. Like, read the room. I'm too. I said, I'm too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're a big body. I'm a thick bitch. Okay, so I see on my card that you're a Leo. That's right. When's your birthday? In July 28th. Mine is August 12th, and I just had Callie. Hers is the 29th. And it's like, we all Leo oh, sisters, yeah. bro. Uh-huh. Leo's are the best. You and Callie kind of favor. See, that's my sister. Everybody says that. That's my twin. Like, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to start the game. We're going to start the show off with a game. We're okay. going to say, would you cut lab with this Leo? So would you make a song with this Leo? Okay. Okay, first on the docket, we have Soulja Boy. You know, Soulja Boy's birthday the same day as mine. Was you, so you would clap with him? You know, back in the day, I loved Soulja Boy so bad. Like, he was my favorite artist. Like, I had the <laughs> biggest crush on Soulja mm-hmm. Boy. Like, when I was, like, eight and shit, like, I thought I was going to be his Soulja Girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I fuck with Soulja, though. Okay, you would do a song with Soulja? Yeah, I okay. fuck with him, though. All right, Lil Pump. Uh, Lil Pump. I fuck with Lil Pump. You would do a song with him? I do a song with you, Lil Pump. You nice. God damn. All right. <laughs> Young Thug. Oh, hell yeah. I, I yeah, love yeah. the free, free slime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She Keith. Uh, of course. Yeah. That's my favorite rapper. You trying to be media trained. I see what this is. No, nah, you, know, you ain't gonna I, say no to nobody. No, she <laughs> Keith my favorite rapper. Why not? Oh, yeah, bet. Okay, Bobby Schmurder. I fuck with Bobby Schmurder. Okay, so you would do a song with him? Yeah. Okay. Jennifer Lopez. I fucking love Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> I thought so. I, you I, love everybody. You nice as shit. No, because I love people. I saw somewhere that was like, um, she, she was done sing? with music. Mm. She yeah. is. I don't know. I ain't see that. I thought she just came out with a song. I thought she just She did, but I thought somebody said like she was, it was her last for something. I don't know. Let me mm-hmm. not say the wrong shit. Uh, Whitney Houston. Fuck goddamn hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be lit. I love that, that woman dearly. Okay, so uh, can you tell the people what you're drinking? I'm drinking Taylor Port mixed with oranges. Yeah, you're a real, you a real Memphis bitch. Like that's fucking crazy. That's real talk. Yeah, cause uh, Kelly was telling me that when y'all hung out, she got like super, super high, and then you had her drunk off the Taylor Port. How was that? Why is Taylor Port your favorite liquor? You know, I ain't even had her drunk. <laughs> I didn't even have no Taylor Port today. I think I got her super high. This one. Yeah, was. yeah, yeah. The blunt. She said the blunt took her out. Yeah, like um, she had some liquor. She came in there with some Casamigos, I think. Like mm-hmm. she had some type of liquor. You know, I'm not big on liquor. Mm-hmm. I'm big on Taylor Port though. Taylor yeah. Port ain't just liquor. Like, what is it? Juice. I'm, is it? Yeah. Is it? It's wine <laughs> juice. <laughs> you said Taylor Port is a wine cooler. That is not a wine cooler. Uh, no, I th- <laughs> it's wine like, it's juice. It's Alizé. Like that's, that's it's, not the same it, thing. No, it's wine juice. I've never had it. For real? No. Why girl. it ain't pull you up none? Girl, what? Tell you about the drink. I'm you gonna... got water in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to keep it professional. I, if I get drunk, this shit gonna go off the rails. And we both gonna be looking crazy. I can't get drunk the episode you come. Well, 
But what is it like? I think you can un- keep it under control. What I think you, you should. Say? I think you should pull up. Are you trying to say I can't hold my liquor? <laughs> I'm saying I think you should pull up. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> <drinking cash. laughs> it's well, okay. I'm not well, gonna do the pre You got. You got. You got. You got too much money to still be drinking Taylor Port. Hmm. You should be drinking. What is it? The I don't got too much money to yes. not be doing nothing but broke shit. And that's how you. Stay I can up. do anything. That's how you stay up. Yeah. That's real as fuck. Like I do a lot of cheap shit. Okay. So what is your uh, go-to gas station snack? Mm. Shit. A, a water and some shit. Probably like a bag of chips. What kind of chips? Either Doritos or Fritos. The red ones. Or some hot fries. Okay, bet. Yeah. You real? What's your favorite food? Um, I love pasta. Me too. What? What kind? I like chicken alfredo. You know, I love spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Bro, people be hating on spaghetti as we got older. That shit is good. Yeah, I don't eat spaghetti every day. My spaghetti week. is good as fuck. I know you can cook. Yeah. Do you like cooking? Yeah. Would you like be a chef in another life? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cook for other people because other people don't like what I like. Then I like, I'm heavy handed. Like, okay. I need to calm down, but I be seasoning the I like, shit. I like out a of lot shit. of seasoning. Yeah, like, like I season the shit like yeah. your grandma seasoning. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. That's why I'm like be eating in LA because like they just a dash of salt, a dash of pepper. I don't like, think I they like put a, none of that shit in there. Yeah, no, no dead ass, bro. They I be think they me pick off. it up with their two fingers and do this. No, seriously, it's literally a, a sprinkle. But that's why they live longer out here, I guess, because they don't got high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's yeah. real. They do Pilates and don't eat. Right. Um. So, how did your parents decide to name you Hallelujah for your middle name? Where did that come from? I don't think do, do people know that? That's your middle name? Oh uh, yeah. A lot of people know that. They be calling me that on the internet. They be <laughs> like, um, Miss Hallelujah. <laughs> but um my mom just said she was feeling blessed when she had me. I was her eighth so child. Sweet. Yeah, I was my mama's eighth child. So and my name come from my uh grandma. My, like my grandma name was Gloria Woods. Mm-hmm. And so my middle name, my mom, yeah, she just said she was feeling blessed. Like all my sisters' middle name is Nicole, and I'm the only one with a different Wait, middle all name. your middle all your sisters got the same middle name? Uh, all my sisters got the same middle name and all my brothers got the same middle name. Your mama just didn't give a fuck. She said fuck <laughs> <it>. <laughs> it's ten the, us, I already so. came up with the first one, the middle too hard. Everybody yeah, the same yeah, shit. Like everybody middle name is Nicole but mine. That's actually crazy. Hallelujah is crazy. So <laughs> you grew up in Memphis. I read that you donated twenty K to your middle school in Memphis. Did they tell you where the money was? Did you ask for an itemized receipt? Did you go up to the school and be like, hey, what did y'all spend my 20K on? Um, Yeah, like, it's really, um, um like, how I do it is when it's time to pay for it, I pay for it. Mm-hmm. Like, so I donated it to the field trips. Okay, nice. So when it's time for them to go on their field trips and they show me the, what, like, the exact what they're spending on, then I send it. Like, I, the year before, I did um my high school, mm-hmm. and um it was for the arts and music program. And some was for like the senior dudes, mm-hmm. and so um, you know I'm still in contact with the uh, staff up there. Yeah, so they'll uh, send me how much all the shirts. And you just cash out them. Yeah, <laughs> I have my accountant to wire it to them. Oh, uh, that's so sweet. Yeah, did they give you like a bench or a plaque or hang hang your name up in the school like? No, you know, actually, um, they finna turn this school down and rebuild a whole other school. I just figured it out last week, and they texted me like two days before and were like, "Yeah, glow." Uh, everybody that ever went to this school, it was a student text me. They was like. They turned the school down if you can come, but I had something to do in New York. Mm. And they told me like a day or two ahead. So mm-hmm. Were you in New York for a New York Fashion Week last week? I was. Oh, did you serve some? You serve some looks? Yeah. How I, was it? I've never been to New York Fashion Week. Um, that was my first time going too. It was cool. Like, you know. Was it I mean? was it actually fun or was it like really sedity and boring? Like, give me the real tea. Like, be for real. Mm, cool. <laughs> All right, you want. <laughs> All right, cool. Next question. <laughs> um, were you a big dreamer growing up? Yeah, I'm still a big dreamer. I feel like I feel like when you're a creative person, you never really stop dreaming. Like, there's always something mm-hmm. else that you want to accomplish and want to do. What were some of your dreams or some of your dreams that you have right now that you want to accomplish? Um, my dreams back in the day. I ain't going to say my dream now because I don't want nobody to curse me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. My dreams back in the day, I used to just want to be a singer or actor. I just knew I wanted to be on the screen. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. I turned out being a rapper. <laughs> yeah, and it's, that's fucking great. Right. Okay, so talk to me about how you got your low voice. I knew when you used to rap, it used to be, like, a lot of higher pitch. So how you <laughs> how you get this deep? Okay, honestly, like, I feel like when I talk, like, growing up, everybody, like, my siblings and shit, and everybody really always told me I had a deeper voice talking, like, mm-hmm. regular voice. So, when I first started rapping, I ain't, I ain't think that was cute. Like, so, I tried to, like, soften it up mm-hmm. and be, you know what I'm saying, soft yeah. with it and shit and sound like a girl. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't thinking outside the box. And then I hear a few people tell me, like, you know how to rap, but it just, like, don't nobody want to hear you. Like, you sound like a little baby gangster or something. Like, mm-hmm. And back then, I used to rap about some gangster shit because, like, <laughs> I don't do it. You enough. still rap about some gangster shit? Nah, like I used to rap about real gangster shit, like shit I used to really do. Like oh, I don't okay. rap about shit that I did mm-hmm. growing up. Now, 
But yeah, back then I used to actually rap about shit I did, and EJ is my voice was high pitched. Mm-hmm. So they were I like, love uh, deep rappers like with girls with deep voices because yeah. it's really like I mean my yeah phone, like, like they make you yeah. you I, we gotta make them feel us like they already don't be trying to hear us anyway. exactly. So like I feel like going the deep voice route like okay I'm gonna make you feel me I'm gonna make you real. Mm-hmm. Today's sponsor is brought to you by Factor. My producer and I have absolutely fallen in love with Factor's ready to eat meals. When we're constantly on the go and rarely have time to go stop and cook and deal with the constant cleanup, Factor is truly the best option for us. And it actually tastes so good, y'all. My producer and I text each other each night after we finish a meal and give a five-star review. And every time we try something new, we're pleasantly surprised. Factor never misses. We just tried the cilantro chicken and it was actually so good. And it takes only two minutes to make, y'all. Two minutes. That's it. With over 35 different options to choose from a week, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash bottoms up 50 and use code bottoms up 50 to get 50% off your first box and two free wellness shots per box while subscription is active. That's code bottoms up 50 at factormeals.com slash bottoms up 50 to get 50% off your first box and two free wellness shots per box while subscription is active. So you have In the Cut with Gloss Up. Does that song ever make you cringe because your voice is high in it? Ooh, I hate that song. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, well, it's crazy. I had to think about what song you were talking about. Shit. Would you ever become a singer? Would you ever sing? Uh, Yeah, I was thinking about getting a vocal coach and getting my singing voice back. Okay, would you sing in a deep voice or a high voice? Shit, however I know how to do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever sounds, whatever sounds the best. All right. Okay, so you were smoking a lot in high school, right? Yep, still smoke a lot. Yeah, as you should. Uh, how were them grades looking, though? I was actually smart in school. Okay. But I was just bad. As hell, yeah. And so I was suspended all the time, which was missing my grades. What were you getting suspended for? Uh, I used to fight. I used to talk back to the teachers and shit. <laughs> and I used to be skipping school. Just bad as hell. Yeah, I was bad. <laughs> I ain't get bad till like, I got, like, in seventh grade and higher. Before okay. that, I was like a real good girl. Then mm-hmm. when I got in high school, I just like, fuck it. How many people you think you fought in high school? Um, See, I didn't have a lot of in-school fights. I just used to fight. But in, in school, it was probably like, what fight did I have? Like, one. My first fight I ever did, I got expelled. Damn! Yeah. Off the off the first fight? Yeah, because we fought in the bathroom and they said it was gang-related. Uh, of course. Yeah, it's so always they, gang-related. Yeah, they expelled all yeah. us. So, and then... So you had to go find another school? No, I got homeschooled. Well, no, actually, I was, well, they put me out. I was out for seven days, and I had made up a lot of my mama. Like, I act like I was a victim and did I was getting bullied. And mm-hmm. so, like, they let me go back in school after seven days. Yeah. But I got into a food fight the next day when I came back, and they suspended me again, and my mama just took me out of school yeah. for the rest of my seventh grade year. And I went back to school in ninth grade. Yeah, what else I? Yeah. What would you do if everybody that you fought in your pastime came to try to like fight you again? You would just get your security to handle that. They ain't, they ain't gonna, they can't get to me. Hell yeah! Don't yeah. run in the same circles. Yeah. Uh, would you ever be like high before class? Out of time. I this, I got suspended for that before. You got caught smoking? Not. Or they knew you was high. They knew I was high. Like I was tweaking. Like this was my first time ever smoking like gas. Like you know we used to smoke rigid mm-hmm. in high school. So. It was my brother's birthday the day before, and so my bigger brothers came over there. My older brothers came over there and smoked with us, and we sweet kind of got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, next day we woke up, they had, he brought some gas. So mm-hmm. I wasn't used to that. I was used to smoking Reggie. Yeah. So we went to school high, and my cousin Rambo remember this to this day. Like, we had homeroom class. Mm-hmm. I walked into class, like, I was just tweaking and <laughs> shit. And, and I, I walked into class like I was doing a zombie walk. I see mm-hmm. That's actually crazy. You was in the throat. And the lady was like, my teacher was being cool about it. It was a bi- biology teacher. Her name was Miss Tetrick. She was like, go put some water on your face and just wake up. She was being cool. Mm-hmm. And so I did that. Then I walked back in there. 
And I sit right by the side of my cousin, and he was just laughing at me the whole time. And I guess that was amping me up to be, do even more crazy shit because yeah. he thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. And so I was just high. Then I just bust out crying, and so she had to call That's her crazy. Teacher. Yeah, she, she called her teacher. She had to call her in the car and shit. And then I got spin because they smelled my fingers, and they knew I was high. Damn. I remember when I first started smoking, like, when I was, like, when I first, because I think the first time I ever, like, smoked anything was, like, in the basement when I got to college. That was the first time I ever, like, had weed. Mm -hmm. And when I was back in Alabama, I don't know what the fuck they was listening to that shit, but every single time I would get high, I would throw up. <laughs> like, I would projectile vomit. Mm -hmm. Like, one time, this is embarrassing, but one time I got so high at this other girl's apartment, I, like, threw up in her closet. For real? Like, on her clothes. Like, it was bad. And, like, I, like, passed out, and then she had to call my friends, and then like, my friends had to come get me. Like, it was in my hair. Like, it was bad as shit. So oh then I stopped God. smoking for, like, years, but I just started recently doing it again in L.A. Because, like, I don't know, the L.A. shit gets good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Damn. See, the only time I threw up off of weed was edibles. Like, I can't do edibles. Mm, I and can't. then, like, when you green out, like, being, like, like tweaking on weed, yeah, it's horrible. Like, yeah. when you're tripping out, because, mm -hmm. like, I be feeling like, I'm gonna get like murdered. And I'm not gonna be able to, like. <laughs> I be feeling like like there's like a, like somebody just lit a match in my like chest and like Damn. everything's hot. Like I like sometimes like I have to like get naked because I'm so hot and I'm like sweating. <laughs> be no, the me. feeling of being too hot. Like I every time I get ill about hot, I have to pray to God. Like God, I promise <laughs> I won't ever do it again if you get me unhat. Like yeah, literally. And then you literally, be hot for at least two days. Yeah, literally begging for forgiveness. Yeah, like I can't do the edible hat. So who were some of your big inspirations growing up? Who's somebody? Some people that you looked up to. Um, well, Beyonce is my favorite artist oh, yeah, in the whole of course. world. Like, uh, her, work, her work ethic is crazy. Have you met her yet? Yes, I did. How was it? Uh, I still feel her presence. Oh, my God. Did she? Did y'all hug? Yes, I did. Did she smell delicious? Of course she did. She was so nice. She told me she was proud of me and stuff. And <gasps> I didn't think she was going to let me pull my phone out and take a little selfie video, but she did. She was so sweet. I went to three of her concert shows. Like, her tour shows, yeah. I went to three of them. Like, this oh, so you're a real Beyonce girl. Yeah, I'm like a real Beyonce Yeah, fan. Yeah, Beehive. Anybody yeah. else? Um, Chief Keef. Mm -hmm. uh, influences. You know, uh, I love Cardi's story. Her, her coming up, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like it was uh, kind of similar to mine. Yeah. Um, Speaking of Cardi, y'all did a song together. How was that? It was great. I love yeah, I love, I love that song. Yeah, she has such a good energy. Yeah. Cardi seems so fun. I love her bad. She is. I love her too. They're my cousin. Okay, so what about now? Who are some artists that are inspiring you now that you see? Right now, like today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people in the industry right now that you're like, oh, my God, like, they're fire. You tell me, like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. We got all day. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Is any, like, the new girls or anybody that's, like, you're pulling inspiration from or, like, that are, like, oh, they're I dope? I mean, yeah, everybody, you know, everybody is inspiring. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody doing that shit, but, like, just inspiring. Yeah. Um, shit. Okay. <laughs> You know, like I said, I like it. everybody got everybody their doing their, yeah, everybody doing their thing. Everybody doing their thing, but when it comes to like, oh, okay, I see you doing this, I want to do this. Like you inspired me, like how Chief Keith did. Like yeah. he had this different shit. Like he was just young and turned and didn't mm -hmm. give a fuck and was doing him and was just like wow. So mm -hmm. like, wait, how old are you? I'm 24. I can't believe I'm older than you. Oh my oh, god, how old are you? I'm 25. Oh, okay, I yeah. Well, you started 25 this year. What are you doing for your birthday this year? You already know. No. Girl, I plan my birthday like eight months ahead. For real. I'm <laughs> my birthday is a holiday. I'm finna plan mine for real. Cause you should I, take a trip. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was thinking about doing, but I don't know exactly where I want to go. Yeah, I want to go to Tulum. That's where I want to go this year. Okay, I heard, I heard it about Tulum. Yeah, because I threw a birthday party last year, but that was just a lot. That's what I did, too. I don't think I'm going to do that thing. Yeah, yet. I don't ever want to throw a birthday party again. <laughs> what do you think? What city do you think produces the best rappers? Memphis. For real? <laughs> Why? Because we just got that sound that can't nobody fuck with. You know, I fuck with Atlanta. No, I fuck with Atlanta and Chicago. Okay, because I literally the next question was like, if you can't say Memphis, what would you say? But Atlanta yeah, and Chicago. Yeah, between Atlanta and Chicago. Uh, let's talk about Memphis. What do you love most about your city? That we don't give a fuck and that we ask. I him. love people from Memphis. I feel like people from Memphis are real raw ass people. Yeah, we don't give a fuck. Like, we don't. Like. How the food? Good. What's your favorite? What's your favorite food spot in Memphis? Mm. Fast food or restaurant? Either one. Fast food, maybe uh, Dixie Queen. This place called Dixie Queen. Dixie Queen. It's a it's a fast food chain. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of that. It's only in Memphis. Oh, uh, okay. Only in Memphis. Um, they got like wings. Like they they like um they be open when you leave the club. Mm. Like that's the spot everybody goes to when you leave the club. They mm -hmm. like when everything gets closed. Um, restaurant wise, it's a free room I like. Go ahead. Um. You like barbecue? Yeah, I love barbecue. Me too. What's your favorite barbecue? 
uh, shit. You know, since I don't eat pork no more, I really don't eat a lot of barbecue. Damn, you know, all of it is pork. Yeah, everything pork. Yeah, so like I don't really eat a lot of barbecue no more because most of it is pork. Why you stop eating pork? Um, because like I just learned the shit behind it. Yeah, it disgusted <laughs> me. I know the shit is in pork, but I love pork, bro. Like I cannot stop eating it. I ain't gonna lie, I love pork too, but I hate to stop. Yeah, it's almost maybe I maybe I'll get because I can I love like red meat. Like that's like my favorite. Like I love beef and I yeah, love me too. Pork. I, love, I I don't know about it. I can stop red meat. I'm yeah. trying. I, I'll I never tried. I'll never stop red meat. Yeah, I tried, but I can't do red meat. But, but maybe eventually I'll get into stop eating pork. But pork is so. It is, but it was easy to stop though. Really? Because like what I like bacon, I like smoked sausages. Mm-hmm. Um, she, I like the ribs, but mm-hmm. she, it wasn't nothing to stop it though. Yeah. What are you eating right now? Because I know you're on your health and fitness tip. Um, I'm eating a lot of shit with protein because I'm trying to get to like I'm trying to get my weight up. Really? Yeah. Okay. You been <laughs> in the gym? You been getting strong? You been strength training? Yeah, like uh, I train every day. Be real with me. Do you like going to the gym? Cause I hate going to the gym. I like. It. It's like, a, you enjoy doing it. Yeah, it's discipline to me. It, see, I need to, like, be, like, harder on myself. But, like, going to the gym just, it just sucks. I No, it. it's, like, when you focus. Like, right now, like, you got to get in. Like, going to the gym is really being locked in. Like, mm-hmm. you just got to be like, okay, I know I want to be healthy. And I know I want to um, have, I want to look like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, you got to lock in and focus. Like, I don't think I probably could do it with a man. Like, because, you know, I, don't, I ain't going to lie. Niggas be distractions to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about my man the whole time I'm in the gym. Yeah. I can't. Uh uh-uh. uh. So right now I, I ain't got you know relationship with shit. So like I'm super like them myself. Yeah. And bettering myself mm-hmm. and going to the gym is a part of it. So I yeah. like it. It's discipline. It make you feel good about yourself. Like why you in there is tiring, but when that's, you get that's done, the only thing. That's one thing I like about going when I do go is like I I do feel like I like was productive for the day and like yeah. I accomplished something. Yeah. Make when you go to the gym you just feel better about yourself. It's mm-hmm. just boom. Cause I feel like you did something. Do you do anything else? Like do you like yoga, Pilates, anything like that? No, I'm gonna start though. I want to yeah. start. I want to start back in Pilates too. Pilates was fun. Yeah. Yeah. See, I liked Pilates. I don't like <gasps> yeah. like the iron clad <laughs> shit. Like that's not that's not me. Yeah. Are Memphis girls the most ratchet? And if not, who do you think are? What do you think has? What city has the most ratchet girls? In Memphis for shit show ratchet. <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie, it's ratchet bitches everywhere. Like I didn't know. Like I knew L. A. was ratchet, but like when I watched South Central Bad, it's them hoes just. Yeah. Ratchet. They come like Memphis bitches. So mm-hmm. everywhere got ratchet hoes. Like it's a ghetto ass hood projects everywhere mm-hmm. in the in out the country everywhere. So like I can't just say Memphis the most ratchet because I done been to a lot of other places and them hoes was ratchet. Yeah. Out of your friend group with gloss up in them, who do you think is the most ratchet out of y'all? The most ratchet? Yeah, the one that gets the craziest. Um the most ratchet, like Slime not ratchet, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I'm not too ratchet. I feel like she could get there, but she not that ratchet. Mm-hmm. I don't think Aliza that ratchet. It had to be between. I'm gonna say Kim because Gloss, Gloss is like she don't talk like us. Like Gloss don't say music how I see. Mm-hmm. Like Gloss talk proper a little bit. Uh, okay. Like and so, but she do ratchet shit, but she not. Yeah. So I have to go with Kim. Okay, bet. Well, K. Carbon, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did y'all meet? How like I know y'all go way back. Like you met uh, Gloss about a talent show. Like how did y'all? How did y'all all become like a group and become friends? So yeah, I've been on Gloss for five years now. So um, I met. No, actually, I met K. Carbon first mm-hmm. because um, when Pooh Shiesty first came out, before he like blew up, um, you know they real close. Like they brother and sister and shit. So mm-hmm. like um, when he first came out and shit, and he they had made a song together and shit. She was still in high school. I had graduated. Mm-hmm. And it was a song that had called Weak Ass Bitch. And I was like, oh, okay, she hard. Yeah. And so uh, this is when I first started rapping. Like my first year I texted, I paid her $100 for a feature. <laughs> <laughs> and she did it? Yeah. That's real. Yeah. That's how much she was charging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, we had did this song called uh, Got Me Fucked Up. Mm-hmm. And so uh, me and her was cool. We were supporting each other and shit. Then. I went to the talent show. Well, Gloss said DM me and she asked me about a feature. And, mm-hmm. she, and so we just ended up meeting at the talent show and shit. And then me and her just ended up getting cool because we met at the talent show and we were just like, you know, we were cool. We mm-hmm. weren't just locked in. And so when she pulled up on me, she was like, let, let me go record the verse. And so um, she was like, I need to find a job. I was like, she, you know, I work at Nike right now. You know, they hiring and shit. <laughs> and so, uh, she, she heard was, a link. Yeah, she was like, okay, uh, how I do it and shit. So I had put her on and she started working the same shift and everything on me. <laughs> And then, like, I didn't have a car. She had a car. Mm-hmm. And so she used to come. We didn't live far from each other. We mm-hmm. lived, like, five to ten minutes away. So she will come pick me up and take me to work 
Or sometimes, like, when I know I ain't have weight, I have to spend night at her house. And we just end up getting real close. Mm-hmm. Like, we it work all day together. I spend night at your house. Like, yeah. we just got close. Yeah, we besties now. Yeah, and so, yeah, that's how it happened. Uh, y'all know each other's, like, parents and families and all that? Like, all yeah. y'all cool? Mm-hmm. Are you like me? Do you love to treat yourself? It's okay, honestly. We all do it. Are you someone that gets a pedicure and opts for that extra 10 minute foot massage with the green tea infused lotion? Do you refuse to make coffee at home because that fancy coffee shop is already on your way to work? How about buying double at a sale because let's be real, it's actually like saving money. Well, if you're someone who treats themselves to the top options with everything in life, then why settle when finding a doctor? It is your health after all. Enter ZocDoc, the place where you can find and book tens of thousands of top tier doctors, all with verified patient reviews. So don't settle, go for the best and find the right doctor for you. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doc you want, you can book them immediately, no more waiting awkwardly on hold with the receptionist, and these docs all have verified reviews from real actual patients you can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance are located near you and treat basically any condition you're searching for ever since my schedule piled up i don't have time to wait aimlessly on the phone waiting on a receptionist or the time it takes to drive to my doctor and back now i use zogdoc i can not only schedule things in advance right from my phone but now i can also take appointments right from my home Go to ZocDoc.com slash bottoms and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash bottoms. ZocDoc.com slash bottoms. So after high school, you worked at Checkers. How was that? Mm. I worked at Checkers in high school. Mm. So um, right after my 11th grade year in the summertime, I was 16. Um, Yeah, I got the job right before I turned 17. I was 16. Working at Checkers and shit, and we end up moving. We used to live in East Memphis. That's like almost kind of like the good part of me. Mm-hmm. We only lived there for three months and shit, and so we moved to like South Memphis and mm-hmm. Orange Mound. Like this, like a dusty part of me. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never been to Memphis. It's like a real ghetto part, of Orange mm-hmm. Mound. And so uh, we moved there, and I went to school there for my last year. And so I had to transfer Checkers. Mm-hmm. I worked at like four different Checkers. I used to get transferred. Cause I used to move <laughs> all the time. And yeah, uh, my whole high school year, I was working. Yeah, it did. Which one was better, Nike or Checkers? Uh, Nike had niggas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be niggas you and Nike. Like me, <laughs> I would like to work at Foot Locker. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like in the in Checkers, like you know, it'd be certain little niggas come through the drive through sometimes. But you know, I used to like a young bitch, so I used yeah. to get niggas sometimes. But at Nike, I used to go to work and see the same niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. okay, it ain't a chance that I might see you again at Chuckles. Yeah. And Nike, I'm going to clock in and I'm going to see you. And if I like you, I'm going to love going to work every day. Are you, you like, know. aggressive when you like when you like a guy? You I, gonna, you gonna I used him? to be. I, I used to be scared of niggas. Like, I didn't know how to talk to niggas back then. Yeah, me either. So, like, I just used to, like, every nigga I used to talk to back then, I just used, we used to be friends because, like, I'm just one of them type people you be friends with. Yeah. And so, shit. Are you, like, shy? Yeah, I'm real shy. Yeah. And so, like, when I be talking to niggas, they be think we friends and shit. And then they be liking me anyway, so I don't got to do no work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so then you, you I don't think, like, Yeah, I don't think I do is get friends with them. And then, like, niggas start liking me. I guess. I don't know why they start liking me. What's not to like, Lo? Don't piss me off. <laughs> don't make me mad as fuck. <laughs> yeah, Nike used to have them niggas. Like, that's why I love Nike. They always had them niggas. That's why we love Nike. <laughs> 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 okay. Do you believe girls in their 20s should be toxic, or do you think we should be nice, real, respected women? Fuck that. I know. I'm just playing. No, but um, <laughs> when I made that video, I wasn't just saying just be toxic, like, purposely, but I just feel like in our 20s, we young, we youthful and shit. Yeah. It ain't no point of getting great hers in your 20s. Like, yeah. You feel me? So you me? said stop tripping over it. Stop tripping over bums. Yeah, like, real talk. And then, like, well, especially don't trip over no bums, but, like, just you trying to lock in with a nigga, you going to be, like, Stressed out and shit. Yeah. Like, girl, be toxic. Have a lot of niggas and mm-hmm. do this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have a roster. Yeah. And be ain't shit. Because once you get in your 30s, it's time to calm that dumb shit down. Yeah. Like, you still trying to be toxic and shit and go do all this crazy shit with a nigga. Like, girl, calm your ass Have you ever, down. uh, like, like slash a dude tires or, like, busted windows or any of that any of that crazy shit? You know what's so crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what's so crazy, Glow? It's embarrassing. Um, You have. <laughs> I never had a man with a car. <laughs> <laughs> that I went with. The two niggas I went with didn't have no car, but you know, one time. That's funny than actually do it. I'm like, oh, Yeah, because I went one nigga for a long time, and like, I don't How know. How many years? But like, it, just a long, I don't be in relationships long, so two years was long for me. Okay, y'all was in high school though? No. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, right. That's a, that's it. And you, so you, you, you um, was holding them down. Yeah. I was a dumb bitch. You know, like, we can't help We all go through it. Like, I, me and my best friend, like, we used to call ourselves, like, uh, co-president, president of the dumb bitch club. Like, yeah, like, do I, I was like, for sure. I, ain't, I don't be shitting on dumb bitches because everybody has been a dumb bitch. Now, I hate a dumb Everybody ass. has been a dumb bitch. I hate a dumb ass bitch. Yes. But, you know, everybody be dumb bitches, but a dumb ass bitch is what, that's like, that's the, the that's, that's the girl that's like, he's cheating, you know he's cheating, you don't give a fuck, yeah, you keep like, back, you keep crying, like, I don't want to hear all that You now. draw the line at dumb ass yeah. bitch, but... But yeah. we all be dumb bitches. Yeah, but I, I slashed the nigga baby mama ties or something. Damn. Yeah. Because listen, the bitch <laughs> never liked me. Yeah. And I never had a problem with her. Mm -hmm. And so uh I didn't let him come home one time because he was out too long. And so I had um looked at his location. Cause he was like, You ain't gonna let me come home. He was calling me all the time trying to trying to come home. I was like, No. And so I looked at his location and when he stopped texting me, he like, Where the fuck you finna go? And so he had, I, I never knew. You was already in the say. car. You was already in the car. The phone. No, up, no, I was really the one. I was in the. I was in the house because I had a video shoot actually the next day and shit. And so I was like, um, I saw the his location moving from where he was at because he was at his friend house. Mm -hmm. And so he always Riley is a is a place in uh, Memphis. Mm -hmm. It's a, a little neighborhood. And so like he always told me he was like, yeah, his baby mom lived in Riley. I never gave a fuck about where the bitch stayed. Yeah. So I saw him uh in Riley. I'm like, hmm, where the fuck you at in Riley? <laughs> He told me to be stay out there, so I just pulled up, got yeah. in my car. Uh, who was with me? Gloss was with me, <laughs> and this other girl we used to hang with. And so, uh, you know, I'm kind of delusional. I went on the um, page, I went on the bitch page and shit, and I saw the background of where she take her pictures at. <laughs> you drove to the background? Yeah. And That's it was in them though. apartments, because when I pulled up to the apartments, I was like, okay, now let me look at her pictures and see these apartments. Yeah. Then it was her apartment. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I I went and found where uh she take her pictures at. I went, like, I saw, it was like a certain little dash. A private steps. investigator, goddamn. Yeah, you know, like how the steps be, like, in, like, concrete. And yeah, so, like, yeah. I looked exactly, the little, it was like a little circle in the concrete. It was on her picture, mm -hmm. and I found it. And so it was two doors right there. So I knocked on both of them. Mm -hmm. I was just beating on them. And ain't nobody come. Like, they were trying to be quiet. So I saw which one was her car. She took a picture in front of her car. Yeah. And so I was just saying, come outside. Ho I wasn't even talking we about We ain't going to jump you? I wasn't even talking about her, though. I wanted to fight him. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to make him come face. out. Yeah. And Did so y'all break up after that? Yeah. And so I went downstairs. I was like, you don't come outside. I'm going to uh, bust this whole shit out. And so he didn't come outside. I didn't know butcher knives come flat tires. Like mm -hmm. it was kept bending. So I'm trying to bust the bitch tire. And it, it was a butcher knife <laughs> and it wasn't bending. So I went to the store. I was like, so you're not finna come outside? He won't answer on the phone. So I went and got some barbecue sauce and some jungle juice from the store. And we came back and I just, she had a white car. I just Damn. pulled it all over the car and I pulled the juice over the car. And so the next day she called like, yeah, bitch. I knew that was you. I saw you. I was looking out the window, ho. Yeah. And I'm a pretty child. You, you ain't come outside and do nothing, though. She ain't do nothing. I was like, yeah, so, he... I said, so you stopped me doing this to your car and you still didn't come outside? Yeah. Like, yeah. And the nigga was over here, bitch. The nigga was holding me back. Bitch, I know he was over there. You're not telling me nothing. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I, didn't even, I told her, I, said, I didn't even want to fight you, girl. And can't nobody hold you back that much. Yeah. Are you the type that needs an entourage to, like, be around you, like, hype you up and get you, like, motivated and keep you motivated? Uh, I mean, it's not mandatory, but I do like when uh, my friends around. Like, my friends give me the extra energy and mm -hmm. shit. Like, you know, sometimes I could be mad. Like, I, get, I be getting mad a lot sometimes. Like, yeah. when my outfit get fucked up or somebody not doing their job and shit. And so, like, I'll be mad and, like, they'll know I'm mad and they'll say some shit to make me laugh on purpose and shit. Mm -hmm. And they'll boost my energy back up. Because if not, like, I can go and just be mad. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how you feel about your new song, Yeah Glow? How you feel about it? I know I, I know you love it. It's, it's a heart. Yeah, I love Yeah Glow. Like, it's a... Uh, it's an inspirational, motivational mm -hmm. song. How'd you come up with the music video concept? Um, me and God came up with it together. I remember after I made the song, I was just like, I wanted it to be a lot of me's talking to myself. Mm -hmm. like, And so we just came up with the concept of like, uh, okay, I used to work at fast food. I'm going to pull up on my old self. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sun, you feel me? And then, um, you know, I was talking about, I said jail a few times. Mm -hmm. And so that's how this thing came. Uh, I seen that you handed out money to little girls uh, in the video. After that, yo, cut, did you take that money back? <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, you know, of course, there was some fake money, but uh, it was one of the little girls. It was a set of twins, and it was their birthday. Well, I think it was, no, they were sisters, and it was one of their birthday, and I, I actually did give her $200. Hey, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so what's it, what's it, what's in store for Glow? We got an album coming. What's what's in store for 2024? Yes, I have a project coming. I got um, I'm working on two, maybe even three projects this year. Mm -hmm. They all gonna be good. Yeah, I can't time. wait. Oh yeah, I'm excited too. Glow, do you think you give good advice? Yeah, I do. I give great advice. All right, perfect. Now it's time for our favorite segment, Fanita's fan fiction, where you guys call in and uh.
We'll, we'll tell you what you need to do in your life. <laughs> Devin, do we have a call on the line? Hello? Hey, boo. Anita, you already know. I'm in love with you. I think we all are. I love you too. That is why I think you should be regarded as the queen of hearts because you're the girl <laughs> that we all wish to be or to become. Mm -hmm. That's real as fuck. And Glorilla, <laughs> I see you. I see you coming in at the rap game. Keep popping off. Keep doing your shit. Because what you say, every day the sun will shine. But that's why I love tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you did your big one on that one. But as for my reason for calling in, I just had a little bit of a curious question. Oh, okay. If you guys were to have a little freaky Friday situation going on, and you have to switch bodies with someone else for a day, who would you want to be? And why is it Beyonce? Yeah, I'll be, I was going to say Beyonce. I was going to say Beyonce. <laughs> I was going to say Beyonce. I was going to say Beyonce. Think about, like, I've actually thought about this, like, in my private. Like, think about what you could do if you were Beyonce. Like, there's not any room, any space, any area that you wouldn't be able to go in. Right. Like, you'd be able to, like, get into anything after hour. Like, it's, you're Beyonce. Like, you, Beyonce could probably, like, rule the world. Right. Like, I would definitely be I feel Beyonce. like Beyonce is the queen of the United States. Yeah, like, seriously, Maybe the though. queen of the world, even. Yeah, I would say the queen of the world. Yeah. Like, Beyonce is good in everybody country, every continent. Like, everybody knows Beyonce. Exactly. If there's anybody else, who would it be? Um, uh, Bill Gates. Yeah, a real, yeah. Or Jeff Bezos. Just so I could, like, yeah. like hack into his phone and then transfer myself some money. Right. <laughs> you can answer the next call. Okay. Hi, so this is <laughs> so um I've been in love with this guy since okay. seventh grade. I'm currently nineteen now. Well oh my eight. God. Um and we've been friends since literally like seventh grade and I confess my love for him on New Year's and he's saying he he does he's not gay but he literally keeps sending me pictures of his like, you know, body, you know, his workout practice, this and that, blah blah blah. So I don't know guys. What should I tell him? Because I feel like deep down he is gay, and he's built like a twink too. So I don't know. What is your opinion on this? Y'all mm. think he's he's gay? Cause he keeps telling me all this. He's super nice. Sometimes we literally used to FaceTime and watch movies like on FaceTime. Like mm. there's nothing straight about that. Anyways, I love you, Benita. Yeah? I love you too. Um, what a thought provoking question. Um, first of all, as a, as a society, we gotta learn how to let shit go. You know, had a crush on him since seven since seventh grade. And you're 19, that's seven years. Learn when to give up. I'm sorry. Learn <laughs> when to stop fighting a good fight. <laughs> like, if it ain't happened by now, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. It's probably not going to happen. But if he's sending you shirtless body pics, knows that you have a crush on him, and knows that you're gay, something sus is happening. What do you think, Glow? Yeah, I agree with you on it. <laughs> yeah, something weird happening. Yeah. I don't know a lot of straight guys that are sending their other gay friends, like. Exactly. And then y'all was on FaceTime, canoodling, watching right. movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, uh, maybe he, maybe he's just like, just ask. yeah, yeah, just ask what well, he says. He said he's not gay, but I mean, maybe he just needs to find his stuff. Stop trying to pressure that boy. Yeah. Let him come out on his own. Right. Give him some time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I like that phone. Thank you. I call my pussy color phone. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. I love you so freaking much. I Benita. love you too. My question is for um, Glover Love. When was like your oh shit moment? Like, oh my god, I fucking made it. Like, when did that moment hit? Because I remember because I felt like the first time like, in college and like like May before I left, and that shit was like doing numbers. So, like, when was your oh shit moment? And by the way, I love you guys both. Love you too. Um, my oh shit moment was when all the celebrities was just hitting me up, and I was like, oh shit, I didn't really make it. Yeah, like, you in there. Yeah, it wasn't just regular celebrities, it was like real celebrities mm -hmm. that I thought I'd never talk to. So that was my oh shit moment. I'm proud of you. Yeah. You've done, you so done your you done your big one. You're so successful, so talented, so beautiful. You too. Stop. <laughs> I don't like being complimented. But I do at the same time, that's weird. Um <laughs> What's your sign? I'm Leo. Oh, you did. You, you know, so you know, like I like getting my ego stroke, but then also like you know how you when you grow up sometimes and you're not really like poured into that like when people actually do like give you compliments, it's kind of right. like weird. Yeah. Same thing for me. Like I feel like I have like imposter syndrome. Like I never thought that I'd be sitting next to you on my podcast ever. Oh no, I never thought I'd be sitting next to you. Glow. You're so beautiful. <laughs> and you have gorgeous skin. <laughs> <laughs> you bitches can't really tell me shit. Like, Megan said I was fine. Glorilla said I was fine. Like, y'all are mad as shit right now. You're mad as fuck. They mad. You're mad as shit. They mad, for real. But I'm super proud of you. You're super dope. Thank I you. can't wait to see everything that you have coming out. Tell the people where to find you. 
and what to be on the lookout for. And make sure you scream, stream, yeah, glow. Yeah, make sure y'all stream, yeah, glow. Get this motherfucker the number one. Period. On all charts, you feel me? Um, y'all know go follow me on Instagram, glow really pimp. Um, glow, the, yeah, shit. <laughs> we'll 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 have it in there. Yeah. Guys, it's been me, another beautiful episode, another gorgeous day getting to look at my face. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Pastor Bedtime YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye. <laughs>